All right, NSUSpartans.com here with Anthony Evans, head coach of the men's basketball team. Don't get to win tonight. They fall 73-64 to Iona. Coach, uh, kind of a tale of two halves there. In, in the first half, you guys came back from a 19-point deficit, able to get to the free throw line, shot 16 of 20, really able to crawl back into the game, and it seemed like the momentum was really shifting towards halftime. How did you get your team back in the game that first half? Well, just to calm them down. You know, I think we came off a tough loss up in uh, Philadelphia, and, and I think it's, you know, mentally, it was still there a little bit at the start of the game. So we just had to calm them down to get them to play together, and they did. They made a great comeback. And definitely carried over in the second half. You guys went up at six. Um, you guys got into transition, and, and it seems like the offense got in a rhythm in that second half. Right. They did. They did. We got stops at the defensive end. That's the most important thing. If we can stop people, we can get out in transition and get easy baskets. The big part of that was Kyle Quinn six blocks tonight. I mean, how, I mean, how, how big of a force is he for you guys on defense? Well, he's important because he's the anchor back there. You know, if somebody gets beat off the dribble, he can block a shot. He can change a shot. He's extremely important to our team. And for the most part of the game, you got you were able to contain uh, Smythe for Iona. He, he came off a career game last game. Uh, you kind of held him in check, especially in that second half. And then Tamaris, he kind of answered with some three-point shooting of his own. Uh, speak about your team uh, in the second half, inability to hit some free throws down the stretch, even though they were hitting them in, the, in that first half. Well, I think free throws are obviously important in, tough, in close games. And, you know, we just – it was a mental breakdown. We didn't concentrate at the free throw line. We missed some, but it's a learning experience. You know, we haven't had many close games this year, this year and it's something that we have to learn from. All right. See if the Spartans can regroup and go against a and as they travel to Greensboro in the first MEAC game of the season. I'm Joe Cook for NSUSpartans.com.